Hi everyone! I hope you guys are doing great. So today I have a haul for you guys. I know I hauled this a while ago. It's just been so busy, but um, I'm going to get to it right now. I got um, Midnight Madness. And again, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous taupey purple color and then a, um, a glittery gold. So use it wet. I will not do swatches. Um, I already did a video previous to this on the Magic Mirth and Mischief haul that I did. And I'll put that below. So then the other one that I got was Under Your Spell. Which is a gorgeous, gorgeous um, pinky purple. It's really, really pretty. And a really nice copper color. Um, I've been really, really loving all of these. And then I got It's a Miracle, which is a nice eggplant color. With, again, the same gold. And I have been using these, like, quite, quite often. Um, they're really, really pretty, really wearable for every day, really gorgeous colors. And then I got Artifact Paint Pot. That's what it looks like, which is gorgeous. Um, it's really great for a base. I will be doing a um, Paint Pot um, kind of review. I'm going to show different ways of how to use it and how I use them. Um, I really love them. I wanted to try Steel a Smudge Pot. So I got it in gray, and that's what it looks like. Um, I'll actually do a swatch for you. That's what it looks like. It's really nice, it's kind of like a blue-gray. I'll do a swatch of Artifact as well, which is gorgeous. There's Artifact, and there's the Steel in gray. Um, so gorgeous. I love them as bases. I will do a further review on the paint pots in the Steel Smudge Pot. Um, I also love paint pots, so I wanted to get a white one. However, they do not have a white one, but they do have a chroma line in pure white. So I went ahead and got that. And this is what it looks like. It's just white. And it's not quite as creamy as the paint pots and smooth. You just got to work with it. But I do like it because um, a white base gives the eyeshadow colors, like the true, true colors. So if there's any hint of pink or purple or green, um, it really shows and it's really, really pretty. So then I got some more blushes. I've been really obsessed with mineral blushes, so I got two more to add to my collection. Um, the first one I got was Lovejoy, which is a gorgeous um, kind of berry pink color. It's very nice. Um, it may look a little dark, or actually not too bad on camera. But it does look a little dark in the pan, but um, if you use a light hand, it looks really, really pretty. I've absolutely been loving it. And then I've also got Love Thing, which is gorgeous in the pan. Absolutely love it. And at first when I saw when I got this, I was like, oh, goodness, this is going to be, like, way too intense for me. And I actually put it on my cheeks, and it has a nice warm tone, undertone to it. And it looks really, really pretty. Again, use a light hand. But I've been really, really loving both of these blushes. And then I got some eyeshadows, of course. I did a back to MAC, and so the first one I got was Vapor. It's just um, a velvet texture with, it has a little bit of sparkles. It's just a highlight color or an all over lid color. Um, I really have been loving Blanc Type. Loving Blanc Type. I love it for like all over lids. Um, highlight amazing color so I wanted to get some more variety as far as that so I got vapor which is that one and then I ended up getting floof really nice shine to it let's see if this helps there we go and it's really really pretty floof actually reminds me of grand entrance and I love grand entrance and floof is just gorgeous I also got a backup of copper plate I absolutely love copper plate as a shadow, but lately I've been using it as a brow um, fill-in, and I've absolutely been loving it. I'm super happy about that. Um, and then some of the shadows that I actually did purchase. Um, the first one is Swiss Chocolate, which is a nice mid-tone warm brown. And then the next one I got was Antiqued, which a lot of people say it looks like Glamour Check, and... Um, I'd have to say it has more of a coppery tone to it than Glamour Check. And then, um, also from Back to Mac, I ended up picking up Coppering. 
really pretty um, warm red tone right there which I'm actually wearing um, on the outer third with Glamour Check in the crease with Vapor on the lid. And I got Star Violet, which is gorgeous, which is right there. And then I got Plum Dressing and Hapcat, which actually look very similar together. And the way that I distinguish it is I tried it with different bases. And what I found out is that um, Plum Dressing has a little bit more red undertone than Hapcat. So here's a swatch for Plum Dressing, and Hapcat has more of a fuchsia undertone. So I'd say if you're looking for one of them, I'd pick one or the other. So Plum Dressing and Hapcat, and as you can see, they look very, very similar. And I'd say the only difference is that Plum Dressing has more of a red undertone, and um, Hapcat has more of a fuchsia undertone. And then I ended up picking up Fig 1 which I believe is matte squared and it is gorgeous, beautiful in the crease. I've been really, really liking the matte um, shadows and matte squared shadows. Don't get me wrong, I still love the shimmery shadows, the Velux Pearl. Um, they're still really pretty, but I've been really loving like the matte shadows. It just looks really natural and really nice. So I picked up some brushes and I really, really love them. So the first brush that I got was a 252, which is amazing. I love it for applying paint pots to the lid and up to underneath the brow bone. It's amazing. It's very big, as you can see. Um, so it covers a lot of room and a lot of space really quickly. So I've been really loving it. And then I also got the... 227, which is great. I've been loving this to use as a highlight. It's a really nice, big, fluffy, dense brush, and it picks up the product really nicely. It's just amazing, amazing brush for highlight. I'd say this is a luxury brush. You don't need it um, if you're starting out with MAC, but it is really nice later on if you decide to invest in it. It is a gorgeous gorgeous brush and it's the 227 I also wanted to pick up the, another 217 because I loved it so much but I saw the 222 so I figured I'd go ahead and try it so this is the 222 which I have been trying out and I have to say in comparison to the 217 I have been loving the 222 it is amazing so many people love the 217 don't get me wrong I still love the 217 but I have been loving, 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 loving the 222. It picks up the color really well and blends it really beautifully. The difference between the 217 and the 222 is that the 217 is a little bit more oval, where the 222 is more circular. And the difference between it is that I like is the 217, you can apply color in the crease and blend it out. However, from side to side, it doesn't blend quite as well. And the 222, you can blend all over, and in the center, it's very dense, and outside, it is actually um, a little fluffier, so it blends. This is amazing for both applying color and blending. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. I would even say that you wouldn't have to get a 224 um, blending brush as well, because this does it all. I love, love, love this brush, and one thing is it's dense at the top which this one is not quite as dense as you can see which I really like so it really has a lot of precision and it gives you a really really nice control and it's just a beautiful 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 brush I'm loving it so then I got the 228 which is a super super small eyeshadow brush and in comparison to the um, 239 that's what it looks like up close and then from the top view um, I really, really like this. Again, I think this is kind of a luxury um, brush. If you're starting out with MAC, you probably don't need this. But if you want something that's super, super precise, if you have small eyes, you can really get into all the small areas, even out here, and I really apply precision color. And it's just an amazing, amazing brush. Again, I love this brush. Um, it's been really working great for all the little details and I'm loving it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!